Hi there. Today we're going to look at how to manage and organize coursework to provide structure for your classes. There are two main places that people can use to add organization. Of course, your course organizer. This provides an overall view of each unit that you have set up. So it's for a unit specifically. Or you can go to course information, excuse me, coursework. This is going to provide an at a glance overview of your entire class. So you can see here that I've got 16 weeks laid out with a start date, some information for um, my assessments and quizzes, assignments, that kind of thing, right there inside the week. And I have that for each and every week. So I'm going to show you how to set up what I set up and how to tweak the settings, okay? I like working from this particular item, from the coursework rather than course organizer. It just makes it easier for me. But you can do this on either page. Okay, the first thing I'm going to do is I want to add a new week. So let's go up to manage units and types. So each of these is called a unit. Some other content management systems or learning management systems will call this a module. Okay, so that's that's Jen Zabar's equivalent is a unit. All right, click on manage units. To add a unit, you simply click the, the link on the left. I'm going to call this week 17 test week. I'm going to have I had to have it open on a specific date. Um, so I'm going to set it as December, let's see here, December, how about 20th, because I know I'm not doing anything, anything on that week. Now I'm going to leave the second part blank. There's a reason I, I have a start date and then I leave it blank. The reason I have a start, a start date is that I don't want my students to have access to all of the course material materials on day one. I want to guide them along. So I'll have, um, I'll have it open up a unit one week at a time. So I set my start range, my date range here to do that. By leaving this blank, students have access to everything that's happened before if they want to go back and um, reference some other materials, okay? So I'm going to come down here and add a little description. This could be a little bit of information from your syllabus if you'd like. So let's see, this is what is happening in finals week. And then click add a unit. Now, if for some reason, like you might have forgotten to put in a date, you can still go back in and edit it. You just click on this little folder icon with the pencil tool, and that'll take you back into the editing section. Or if you just don't like the module whatsoever, click on the trash can icon. That'll get rid of it for you. Now let's go back and see what it looks like on the main page. So I'm going to go back to main screen here. I'm going to scroll down and there it is down at the bottom. If you twirl open the arrow here you'll see that you don't have any assignments yet. So go in and add your assignments like you normally would and just for just for practice let's go ahead and do that together. I'm going to click add an assignment. I would choose the online test format for anything that I want to be automatically graded. It doesn't have to be a test, it could be just a simple exercise. So that's the one I would choose for that. If I need my students to, um, to give me a file, I'm going to choose the file upload format. Or you can choose a forum or basic. Just for now, I'm going to choose file upload. And the name of this will be our test homework file. Okay. For type, I have created something called assignment to kind of categorize things. If you need a different type, just click the plus icon off to the right and add it here and then you'll get an, an additional item in your drop down. 
You can even specify selected students for this particular coursework. So if you've got somebody that needs a little remediation, this could be a, something just for them. Okay. So my due date, my due date, let's see, <laughs> let's make it due on Christmas. <laughs> they won't like that. Okay. Um, so open, I'm going to open this assignment based on a date. Again, I like to make sure that they can't see it before a specific time. You now, you need to make sure that you have both the date and a time. Otherwise, this is not going to work. For grading, I am going to choose out of 10 points, make sure it's included in my final grade, then come down so if you need to change the uploaded assignment options, that's just fine. Um, if they have to have at least two submissions or five, whatever, you can choose right there. I like to leave this on an unlimited number of files because you know sometimes you make a mistake and they forgot to name it properly. And so it gives them a chance to get back in there and do it one more time. Instructions and files. So you can put a description here or instructions to the student. You could also have your instructions in a Word document and upload it down here. But once you've done that, you can save your file. These are the instructions. Save your new assignment. Go back down to test to make sure you see it. And there it is. Okay. All right. Now, I do not want that particular unit in my coursework. So I'm going to go back up to manage units and types, and I'm going to delete my test week. It says I have an assignment. I don't want that assignment either. So I'm going to ask it to delete the assignments too. So delete the unit and there it is. So let's go back to coursework and now you can go back and review everything that you've set up for the semester. Okay guys, I hope this was helpful. I will see you in the next video.